And our final highlights of the night take us out to the Bay Rivers District as Tab and Pocosin meet on the hardwood. The Tab Tigers, the Pocosin Islanders, in a matchup in a gym fitting for 1950s Indiana as we see some basketball being played in the right corner of the shot. No good, but the rebound picked up by the Tigers. Now Pocosin with it. Great ball movement. The reverse layup, however, won't fall, and the Tigers look to push the other way. And the layup with the left hand is up and good for the Tigers as they get off to a good start. And now the jump shot is canned by Jeremy Gennaro. 10 for the early advantage for the Tigers going into the second quarter. Pocosin looking to pick things up on the offensive play. Does indeed with Dylan Hall, or excuse me, Dylan Hill making the basket. Now the Tigers with the ball, working the ball around the perimeter. And they set up a good shot at the top of the key, jumping just inside the three-point line for the shot was Patrick Corbett, who hit the jump shot. And now Pocosin with the basketball on offense. A great cut, however, the steal is made by the Tigers, pushing back the other way, bounce pass, layup too strong. Rebound knocked away, fought for, the Tigers pick it up. And a three-pointer launched, won't fall, but a third opportunity, finally off the glass and good for Joseph Nelson. The Tigers looking to stretch their lead out defensively, trying to get the steal. However, Pocosin works the ball, right corner. This time the three is nailed in the corner for Royce Bowden. 22-15 going into the second half, Pocosin trailing by seven on their home floor. With the basketball, looking to make something happen in the third quarter as the three-point shot once again is the key for the Islanders as that shot is nailed by Jeremy Gennaro. Tab with the basketball, working around the perimeter, looking down low. And the shot is off the glass and good for Shaq Rodney. And Tab would take the victory in this one 60-50 as Rodney would have two, or excuse me, would have 14 points. Quinlan McCormick with 13 points. Royce Bowden a game-high 18 points for the Pocosin Islanders. In the Bay Rivers District, Tab has secured the district title with the 14-2 record, and Bruton and York play next week in a game will decide second place in the Bay Rivers District. And in the Eastern District, a costly loss for Booker T as they fall to Granby last week allows Norcom to get back in front of district play, and the Booker's Earl Norfleet surpasses 1,000 career points in a win over Churchland. And on the girls' side, Lake Taylor continues its impressive run as they remain undefeated and tops in the district.